Hi, my name is Iwani Busby. I'm a visual artist based out of Mississauga. I'm an undergraduate research assistant at the Studio for Media Activism and Critical Thought. I'm also an undergraduate student at Ryerson University studying creative industries with a specialization in the fashion industry and art curation. My name is Elixir Elliott. I paint graph in Toronto. I also do fine art. Um, this is my studio. Check it out. Hi world, I'm Tafari. I come from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, born and raised. I've been doing graph for 20 something years now. Yeah. It's in my blood, I can't get it out. I started um, painting in high school for a project and I really enjoyed doing it. I was like, oh, this is so nice. Just, you know, relax and make some art. And I just kept doing it. And the more I did it, people were like, oh, this is like pretty good, Iwan. You should keep going. So I was like, okay. The origins of art kind of intertwined with sport. Uh, I grew up an athlete, um, played every sport on every team, that kind of kid. Well, uh, yo, I came from the streets, you know, but like literally, yeah, that's where I did a lot of my pieces, like, um, you know, legally and illegally. I started out thinking I would be a marine biologist, you know, because I was from St. Vincent, so that's my life, St. Vincent in the West Indies. Um, such a good place for that, and I grew up around the sea. So that was my whole idea. But then coming here, realizing there's a whole other life of like illustration, you could actually be an animator. Started out trying to try to do that, you know? That's my come up, that's what I wanted to do. We all wear brands all the time, right? And it's like, all right, cool, Nike, but what's Nike saying? Like, what, like, what, what, like, what, how are they gonna progress us? And I feel like brands should be doing that. So when I create and like, let's say someone's gonna wear my thing, I want them to see like, I want it to be projected in a way where it's like, it's almost like it's like, it's like branding, but I'm branding the struggle. But it's not, I'm not trying to make money off it. It's like I said, let aesthetic, uh, what I've said in my little blurb is let aesthetic create conversation. You know what I mean? Now, now you see this, let's talk about this. Let, let's have a social, you know what I mean, um, constructive conversation about what this means. To kind of tell my story and broaden the narratives around what representation in art means, especially for black creatives, and to kind of um, help empower people as well when they can see themselves in it. An artist is here to express uh, what's happening here and now, the times, um, and also fantasy and uh, whimsy um, but then it's how you relate to what's happening now with here and now like you said I take media from my life this thing right here the, the speaker over there has Franklin and Linus the story of Franklin if you don't know um, a mom from California wrote Charles Schultz about creating that character after Martin Luther King was assassinated. Because she felt that's, you know, um, peanuts were such a integral part to kids growing up. You know what I mean? And the way that we um, deal with angst and all those things that showing, you know what I mean? White kids, just playing with black kids is a normal thing will have crazy ramifications for the future because what we teach our kids is how they will become, right? So. Um, just stuff like that. I wanted to capture concepts that like people weren't aware of about things in the media and then like bring them to light. Well, I believe that in media, especially positive representation is really important um, because a lot of times you'll see so many negative portrayals, especially of people within the black community. Um, you don't really see a lot of representation of us in art as well. So I wanted to use my art even for myself to kind of have that positive representation and so that my friends and family can see themselves represented in art and see it in a positive light. I want to have such a social justice message within some of the stuff that I do because people, you, you know what it is about this neighborhood, people here, Sherbert and Shooter, Dundas and Shooter, or Dundas and Sherbert are like, oh, you live there? It's like, what difference is it? Like, what, like, what's bad about it? I got the mall down the street, got a fire department, got a police department, got hospitals. 
oh, but you know, you know, I, I know what. You know what I mean? People caught a bad break, right? We were so quick to label, you know what I mean? And um, my whole life, I was always quick to be labeled, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, too wild, anger, you know what I mean? Doesn't know how to control himself, this and that. And I, I felt like it was unfair, you know? So I, I kind of kept to myself and stuff like that. And I just started watching people, you know what I mean? Became an observer. And I feel like that's kind of where my inspiration comes from, learning to observe. Watching the world, how it acts and calling it out. If we're gonna even make changes or understand what's happening in our society today, we have to understand what happened in the past so that we can understand why it is that like the black community or indigenous communities are mobilizing right now and fighting for rights or even have been fighting for rights over generations and decades. So I think history is really looking back in the past and not just reflecting and acknowledging it, but really working to make a change so that the future is better. Yeah.